and angel fly within my life beside me and all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for April 18th through to the 24th. I'm going to be using Healing with the Angels cards from Doreen Virtue. So let's, as always, see first of all what they have to say from Monday and Tuesday. All right, so here's the card for Monday and Tuesday. Oh, beautiful. This is, of course, one of my favorite cards. Beautiful card. And uh, the angels are saying to really pay attention to those people who you feel a true connection with when you meet them this week or that those people who you've already met will become more obviously important to you. Sometimes this won't make logical sense. Sometimes it won't be about romance. It will be about friendship, someone who you feel like you've known for a long, long time. It does not have to be uh, romantic love they're saying of course it can be we've had these discussions so many times in the last few weeks because soulmate and new love and romance keep coming up and so they really want you just to pay attention to the connections that you have with people and also what your um, beliefs are around love around relationships and the ways that you are perhaps opening your heart or not opening your heart. Are you being yourself with people? Or do you feel like you need to be someone else to fit in or to meet the right people? The truth is, is that the only way that you are going to have the healthy, fulfilling, happy relationships that you desire is to truly be yourself. And to really feel like every part of you is loved and lovable. So if you feel like there's some still some things uh, to work on there, um, just just look at them without judgment and just see, okay, so if my friend or a loved one was going through this or was, I was wanting to be kind to a friend of mine, what would I say right now? And do that to yourself. Be your own friend. Be your own soulmate. It sounds really cliche to say this, but um, we we don't have to see ourselves as perfect human beings, but we have to at least be open to the idea that we deserve um, to be treated really well, that we deserve to be loved for who we are. And as we go from there, of course, then this beautiful light, this energy that is us shines more brightly out into the world and those people who are right for us will be able to find us. Remember that, that the people or the um, relationships that are truly meant to be are not full of struggle, are not full of heartache, are not unavailable, are not, um, you know, uh, full of stress or tension. Of course, we are all human and we all have those experiences a little bit in our lives don't we but if you're repeatedly feeling like it's a big old struggle or somebody doesn't get you or that you're having to compromise on something that's really important to you then I would say really have a look at whether the relationships are right for you and that goes for friendships or romantic relationships. All right so here we go this card is interesting here after the uh, beginning of the week's message and that's body care, taking care of your body. So many people I speak to, you know, if they're asking me about their soulmate relationships and then they get a message about their bodies or about their diets or about taking better care of themselves, go, yeah, 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 but I just want to know about my soulmate. Um, and the thing about it is, is that often the angels are guiding us to take better care of ourselves so that we can have the love that we desire. That, that's not to say that you have to be a certain weight or a certain size. It's about self-care, 
about treating your body well so that you can feel good, so that you your energy is as, as bright and as aligned with who you are as it could be. And if you're feeling sluggish and tired and, um, you know, not quite yourself, obviously that is something to take care of. Not because you're um, less than lovable if you have health issues, but because they want you to treat your body kindly, to know that your body is a sacred vessel that allows you to be here. And again, particularly for us women, but for everyone, to know that however your body is, that you are entirely lovable and loved and that we don't want to base our worth on our outer body. In fact, um, there's been a couple of messages recently that I've posted on my Facebook and one of them is beauty is, is so much more than um, our body. Beauty is about so much more than bodies and it's true because sometimes we can post a message about beauty and people think we're talking about you know our physical appearance. Of course we can take care of ourselves but beauty to me is is your heart and soul. There's also a beautiful poem that I'm not going to try and completely quote uh, because I don't remember it and I didn't know this was going to come up today but about how really um when we when we love um, a, a person, we love all of them. We don't just love a body, right? And so you can you can take excellent care of your body, but does that doesn't make you more lovable? It's about really seeing yourself as worthy of treating um, the part of you that that gets to be on earth, um, like you know, with respect and with honor and with love and with compassion. And so often we are beating our bodies up or we're causing ourselves to feel disconnected from our bodies because we feel like there's something wrong with them. And that isn't the case at all, is it? Our bodies are perfect the way that they are. And yet the, the more that we focus on feeling good and treating ourselves kindly, then often the result is that we might lose some weight or our skin might feel clearer or our hair or whatever, we might feel guided to, you know, to dress in a certain way, whatever. But ultimately, it's about just being connected to that physical vessel that we chose in this lifetime and helping us to accept all parts of ourselves, especially if we're talking about having relationships with others, right? Interestingly, this really goes along with what we just said, forgiveness. Now, that can be about other people, but really the angels are saying uh, this, this particular message is about self-forgiveness, about stopping ourselves from being so hard on ourselves and forgiving ourselves for being unkind to ourselves, forgiving ourselves for any mistakes that we have made, forgiving ourselves for perhaps being in that relationship that we know hasn't been healthy for us because ultimately you know we we have to do a lot of work on forgiving others who treat ourselves badly but there's a big part of us that has to forgive ourselves for put, putting ourselves in that situation or for forgiving ourselves for not knowing any differently we only know what we know um, and we know what we know at the time and then we can change it right so forgive yourself let yourself off the hook for being less aware than you are now or perhaps even right now you feel like you've made some mistakes but again that doesn't take away from the fact that you are loved and lovable as you are and as you treat yourself with compassion as you remember that you are a divine child of God, then you're going to have relationships that reflect that rather than that, you know, relationship that is based on you trying to prove yourself or you trying to be lovable or you trying to fit in or you trying to be what you deem is perfect. Be yourself and then the relationships around you will be as close to perfect as they can possibly be. Not because we are perfect human beings, but because we can truly see ourselves as loved, 
we can truly see ourselves as loving without needing validation from outside sources, that we can see the relationships, including the friendships that we have, as beautiful bonuses in our lives and that no one, but no one, ever, ever, ever is the source of our happiness, is ever, ever, ever the source of our worthiness. So, Treat yourself with love and kindness. Pay attention to those you feel connected to this week. And know that as you do so, you're opening your heart to beautiful love and blessings. Sending you much love for this super healing, heart-opening week. Take care. Bye-bye.